Hello everyone, my name is Shai and today I am reacting to N Flying singing the OST of a video game called Lord of Heroes. Um, this song is called Chance. Now, it's been a while since I did a reaction to N Flying and I do need to int I do intend to get to their newer tracks. I know I haven't reacted to anything since um, their new bassist joined um, the group, so I do need to catch up on this, but I knew I had to do this one ASAP because um, the game that they're doing the OST for is one that I personally truly love and I'm gonna actually gonna plug it a little bit. I'm definitely not promoted, but I genuinely do enjoy this game. So uh, I'll talk more about the game. I'll talk more about the song obviously after I react to this. So without further ado, this is N Flying with Chance. Here we go. I'm excited to just see how this, how this tea goes. Johan! That's right, Johan is missing! Bro, you know how deep I'm in this when I know the characters. The story of Lord of Heroes is... I knew it. Why do I have a feeling about Johan? Johan, man. Oh. Ooh, I love it. I was actually surprised myself to see the banner in the game. There's like Chan's um, MV with N Flying. I'm like, oh, N Flying is doing an OST with my favorite game. Oh, oops, wrong game. Uh, so I, I play a ton of like mobile games. I have a, like a uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, this is bad. I have 12 games on my phone. Um, one of them is 100% Lord of Heroes. 
Like, I, I am, I'm telling you guys, I am legitimately not sponsored, but I do play this game. Hold on. I'm pulling it up right now. So, yeah. See, I legitimately play this game. Um, I'm currently, I think I just turned level 30. I've been playing this game for about a year. Um, so, uh, I, I've obviously made a lot of progress in that one year, but I'm still kind of stuck on a few on a few on, a, on one level actually it's usually the calamity level um sorry i'm go getting through this see <laughs> that's that's the banner that popped up and i'm like what so yeah this is basically the game here um i'm just going to show you brief briefly of it so obviously my name in game is the same as my youtube name because i'm so creative so if you guys you know uh, I don't think there is not a friend friend thing here, so obviously you can't really try and find me. Plus, I think servers are different as well. So, so yeah, basically at level thirty, you can customize your character. Um, you can change. Uh, I don't have the thing, so I can't really show you much. So, um, yeah, this is my character. Um, this sh so basically, the story of Lord of Heroes is that you're this this monarch. You're this monarch, the king of Avalon. Um, so in the I think it was what was it? Normal? Normal expedition. Normal, yeah. In the normal level, you're basically just finding out the story. Um, this, you're just figuring out what's going on. So, um, and then the hard and extreme are different timelines. So basically what happens is it's like, um, you're slowly, like, there's something happening in, like, in, like, the west, in the east and west areas. Um, and you're trying to figure out what's going on. You try, you meet some new people. Um, you have to like take over, not really take over, but you have to help certain like nations, you know, be free from the tyranny that they're facing. Um, some of the some of the levels you actually have to, you know, uh, one by one like fight in each level. So for example, let's take um, where am I? Let's take for example, Rodon. Rodon has eleven levels. Most most of the teams have like ten to eleven levels. Um, obviously the last one is the boss. Usually those are the hardest and it takes a while to level up your team. Um, so here, like for, for normal, there's different levels. Um, you go through different levels. Um, for extreme, you have more levels, um, I would say. Um, so the story, you, you trying to figure out, how do I, you know what, let me Google this because it's going to be hard for me to explain the basic plot of the story. Lord of Lord of Heroes uh, plot. Uh, so obviously this is a Korean game. This is a hundred percent a Korean game. Um, like, but obviously you can have the language in English. But the there are subtitles and the voiceovers are usually Korean. Um, I think there was English. Let me see. Language. Well, for for reading. Voice packet is either Korean or Japanese. I personally do the Korean one because that's what I've been used to for the past year. Um, sorry, I am I'm trying to find like the official like plot so I can so I'm not like fumbling over um, fumbling over everything. So, Lord of Avalon. So basically, who you are is the Lord of Avalon. You can customize the appearance. You can be male or female. I chose a female, obviously as you can see here, with short hair. Um, because that's, that was a style I liked at the time and never got to try, you know, the short hairstyle until now. Um, so there's a small kingdom of uh, knights located in the western continent. Um, so obviously our main character is not playable. Um, we have other knights that are playable. Um, so every action that we, we, um, we take is basically like the Lord's Command. Uh, this game is a turn-based, um, per, uh, uh -huh. so yes, turn-based. Um, I'm trying to figure out plot, plot, plot. I need the plot. <laughs> uh, Lord of Heroes story. I need this. Let's do story. Uh, story. Because I know there, the there's a new um, new world, new level opening up in like six days, but I literally cannot get to it because I'm legitimately stuck on. Lumistad, <laughs> Lumistad, the boss level, I'm legitimately stuck at. So, um, there is a, so basically you're a monarch of Avalon. Oh, my sweet Jesus, what are you doing upstairs? Um, 
so there's a lot of war happening and stuff so uh there's also calamity that's about to happen um story I just okay I'm going to give it to you as best as I can I'm gonna butcher this like no tomorrow but um, this is from what I can remember because like I said I've been playing this for a year I already passed um, the normal and easy levels like y y last year or the normal and medium levels last year, M normal and hard. It took me a while, but I finally got to it. So basically, you're a lord, lord of Avalon, a small, small, small kingdom. Um, you hear that a calamity is about to happen. Um, so you start venturing out to, to you know, try to prevent this thing. So as a, as this small kingdom, you what you believe in is like equal uh, equality and like freedom for everybody, no matter what race you are, no matter what. Um, no matter how you look, who you are, basically, they don't want to establish, you know, like nobles and like servants. You don't want, they don't want any of that title. Um, so whenever they make packs, they're like, "Oh, you're the leader." I was like, "No, I don't. I don't take that title." Um, so basically, in the first timeline, you go all the way out to um, what is the area called? You go all the way out to the Gallus Empire, who are making a ruckus. Um, when you get there, you meet this one person, and it's like you fail to protect your knights. So you got, got another chance, and that's the hard level. The hard level. So in this timeline, things are a little bit different. Um, you meet certain people and make alliances that you didn't do in the first timeline, um, and then obviously the same thing in the extreme one. There are places and things you do in the extreme one that was different from what you did in hard and normal. So that's what I kind of like about it. Like there's a linear story to it. Um, the levels get obviously harder and harder as you progress. Like I said, I'm, right now I'm stuck on the Lumistad last level of Extreme. I've been trying to um, level up my my heroes. Uh, my heroes, and they've added a lot of stuff since I started playing. They've added um, the boutique where you can like customize what your what your knights look like. They've they've optimized the the alliances. They've really optimized them. They have uh, they've added alliance raids. Um, they've added. Um, what else have they added? They added this Unity Plaza. Basically, you can play as your character and like meet new people and like, um, and just like play like games with them. I think it's a different like it's, it's like basically like a social social networking, I guess, in a way. Um, so yeah, that's basically um, Lord of Heroes. I can really go on and on with it. Like I said, I absolutely do play this game. Uh, I'm literally not sponsored. Like I, even if I was sponsored, I would still say good things about this game. It's honestly the most fun game that I've um, played. Since I've you know started, I've played a lot. I do play a lot of games. Like I mentioned, that I do have about twelve games on my phone. But this one, I do come back every once in a while to play and try to see if I can level up more, so I can um, so I can uh, what do you call it? So I can uh, get past this stupid Lumistad level. Um, so yeah, each heroes have about um, you can get up to how many stars? Uh, six stars. Six stars per her um, hero. So for me, I have Helga and Helga, Mikal, uh, Lyre, and Charlotte with six stars. Um, so this is Helga. Uh, so for her, I have yet to ascend her. Um, I've yet to ascend her. I think I only have her in her first ascension, so I have to Ascend her one more time and I'm finished with her, I think, um, ascending wise. But for now, you know, I've been slowly but surely like um, playing this game, you know, leveling up and whatnot. And I hate to admit, but I think I spent an embarrassingly amount of money on this game because I'm trying to level up, but it's like so hard if you if you don't um, if you don't really pay for certain things. But obviously, you don't have to pay for anything. There's a lot of ways you can get like bonus stuff in the game and whatnot. Anyway, I talked a little bit too much about the game. Like I said, one of my favorites. Um, but dude, this this OST definitely fits the song. Um, definitely goes to this theme of like because you know Lord of Heroes. I was also about finding Johan in the first timeline. If I remember correctly, he goes missing. Um, like he disappears, and so like the reason why our our uh, monarch tries to go through two different di timelines to f is to find him and find out what happened to him. Of what I was thinking, especially with what they showed in the in the uh, MV, I felt like Johan is definitely part of the bad guys. 
like I feel like something happened to him in the timelines that caused him to turn his back on someone he has been with for a long time. So the original knights that were with um, the monarch, they've been with her for him or her um, for a very, very long time and they have a lot of trust and loyalty that will not break and they will definitely use their lives to protect this monarch. Um, even the people who you make alliances along the way, they'll do anything and everything to try and to try and um, protect this monarch because this monarch's ideals is something that they never imagined. And they're like they're thinking this small the small monarch the small monarch girl is trying to do this big thing. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting. You know, I can go on and on about Lord of Heroes um, because I play it. Um, but you know, end flying chance definitely. I feel like. Lately, end flying has been more of like rock base. Like yeah, they've been kind of like you know funny and and whatnot. But it, their they their sound I feel like has become more rock base, like a funny rock. And it's really interesting how they, um, how they, they um they do you know the they they the style has changed. So it's very exciting to see you know. Not only I find doing OST for one of my favorite games, but also, you know, see how their sound has changed over the years. So, yeah, I talked a little bit too much about the game, but obviously you guys can see why I had to check this out, why I really um, like this game. Um, like, I, I would not, I was really pleasantly surprised to see two of my worlds colliding, you know, and flying in Lord of Heroes. Um, so that's pretty awesome for me. The song is so good. Um, and definitely end flying, very end flying. I was surprised to hear um, Sung, Sung Chum, um singing a bit, so because I know obviously he's a rapper and I think he's been working on his vocals a lot lately, so it's very fun to see and hear. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy his reaction if you do like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.